My name is Todd Giffen. I'm the, the victim that runs this website, Obama'sWeapon.com. I have spoken with the FBI. My website's been out there for two years. It's backed by Department of Defense and CIA whistleblowers, U.S. Investigative Service employees. Um, I, I've documented this better than anyone. I've spoken personally to two FBI officer, officers recently. I've emailed police officers. Everyone in Lane County has seen my site. Sheriffs, punk judges, Judge Rasmussen, and another judge. He's the presiding judge of the entire Lane County court, this corrupt shithole of a court. Springfield Police have seen my site. I'm just, uh, uh, Springfield Police, all right, let's go over to State Police. State Police, Sergeant Withers, punk little bitch, uh, Lieutenant Terry Davey. Um, in addition, there's another one, uh, Tom, Scott Yucker. This little fucker is actually directly linked to the CIA. The CIA contacts him when they want to make a complaint about me. Um, you could look through public record at the state police and get records showing that Inspector General of the CIA has been contacting them routinely. They shut down the phone system at the state hospital in 2012, uh, sometime between October and November. The phone system for the patients was shut down because I made a call of them. Who has the power to do that other than the feds? They scrambled the phone so you couldn't enter pins or call long distance. Only they have that type of technology. But my website's been out there, and you'll notice this is how you know our FBI is corrupt punk shit, rapist fuckers. If you look at my Twitter, you see how many times I've been raped? That's legit rape. I've got a video of my dick being erected from directed energy. That's them. They're sickos. And the fact of the matter is, They've they've all been notified. They've also received dozens of emails, and I've got replies from different uh, FBI offices around the country. Well, let me tell you this, man: if you, these rapist fucktards don't do nothing on day one, you know there's something going on amongst their ranks. Something sick and fucking sick. These fuckers are raping Americans all over the place, and they don't give a fuck what they do. They've got military electronic warfare that they're using to fuck up innocent civilians. These are fucking sick fucks. And uh, they need the death penalty. you got to go up to an FBI officer and just cut their throat. Cut it off. They're sick fucks. Every fucking incident over the last 60 years has been because of their sick fucking shit. Murdering, stalking, surveilling, civil rights leaders, lawyers, and journalists, and innocent people with their fucking shit. And you know why they're in their email? Because they want to see your nude pics that you send to each other, dude. They're that fucking sick. They're fucking sick. They spy on us because they're fucking sick and they want to control us. So, because the FBI has not done a single thing, you look on my website, murder attempts that are verified in medical records, D Department of Defense, goddamn, pub you know, classified shit that I have offered these punks. Not a single thing done. So what I'm telling everybody out there is they're corrupt shit. They're behind my murder, your murder. They're rigging justice. They are denying justice. They don't get prosecuted when they commit a crime, but they go and prosecute other people. That's how they fuck the justice system up. It's a weapon against people they want to target. It's not a system for justice like it should be. They don't go to prison when they commit a crime, man. And around the world, they're fucking kidnapping children, raping them, selling them on the black market, and then selling people drugs for profits to run their black operations. This is CIA, FBI fucking faggots, NSA fucking faggots, all together. My website's been out here this long. I'm a confirmed victim. It's in my record. The due diligence discovers all this evidence, man. It doesn't take, you know, the FBI's got the power to crack open the Department of Defense, but they don't do it. And they, they can crack open the CIA, they can crack open themselves and the, the fucking Supreme Court and the President's office. They've got so much fucking power. That's how I know that the only crime that happens in America is crime they allow. They have to allow military to fucking rape me every day. And rape all these other people and direct energy into their bodies. They're doing that. And then they're, they're sitting there tapping into their surveillance systems and they're spying on us all. They're benefiting and using this technology every day. They have access to everything going on inside your house. They have tomography that penetrates buildings and earth and bodies and brain. I'm t you know what tomography is? That's the radar technology 
that can scan through a fucking building and watch you fucking in your houses, watching you on your computer, have, you know, they're tapping into all your thoughts. They have access to it all the time. Neuron reading technology. Computer decodes your thoughts. They've decoded the mind. They've had to code for more than 20 fucking years. These people are fag fucking freaks. And they're behind every major crime in our society. You can read Doc, uh, Ted Gunderson. He's the head of the FBI Los Angeles. He wrote an affidavit confirming this. These fuckers rape kids, kidnap them, assassinate people in, in, all over the place. These are civilians. They kill us. And these are the targets, the, the people that know about the system. These are the people who are smart, who have been, become targets that this is happening to. We get censored, so you never hear about our stories. Aaron Alexis was a confirmed victim. Dr. Robert Duncan from the CIA confirmed it. He fucking designed some of the technology behind his attacks. He's been to the secret Navy bases where this shit runs. <laughs> so, and he wrote that in an email. It's on my website. Aaron Alexis killed 13 because of these punk fuckers. And, and I, I, if you get on the internet, you Google Aaron Alexis, you'll find a video, one of the top videos, ABC Channel 7 in Washington, D.C. I was watching this. The first couple of things they say is that these were innocent people gunned down the Navy uh, shipyard. They had no evidence that these people were innocent. Did they go in their brains and confirm they weren't using the Medusa weapon? You know what Medusa is? Fucking U.S. Navy designed a, a global scale weapon to beam voice into people's heads back in 2003 or whenever it was released. And th this is an electronic warfare system they set up so that they can target any person, any part of the planet, and beam energy at a person to put voices in their heads. And it's, it's thought to be used on crowds and other people too. And uh, Navy has this confirmed. It's all over. There's information. And Navy has protocols in place for experimenting and torturing the public too. And uh, I've got some documents like that on my website from the Navy talking about this. So, it, it sounds like nobody verified that, he, that these were innocent people who didn't deserve to die because they were targeting Aaron. That's confirmed. I mean, Dr. Robert Duncan says that's pretty much confirmed. And just like all these other 10,000 victims around America, there's, they can, all it takes is President Obama saying, target this person, and there's voices in his head. There's voices in his head, in her head, and these activists' heads. And they're having energy and dream manipulation. They don't even know they're being manipulated sometimes. They'll have dreams that they don't even know weren't their own. That's how they're targeting people. And uh, so it just it's just amazing shit the more you look into this. But Aaron Alexis, they also didn't verify that he had delusion. It sounds like he didn't because, you know, this is confirmed technology that they use and does everything he says. It, it creates little vibrations in, in, your, in your body and your bones. That's what it does. It vibrates and riles your walls, fucks with your environment. Um, if you record it with a camera, it'll show up like little orbs and ghosts and shit. That's, that's the effect of directed energy on the sensor in your goddamn camera. And, uh, <laughs> the, you know, this is the Department of Defense and CIA whistleblowers who are saying that that's how it happens. Um, so the FBI put out false statements to cover up his uh, torture and murder. Because he, you know, the only thing you're going to do to fight back is maybe go kill the people hurting you. And that's the way it works in America. You're not going to get justice because this has been out there forever. No one's been prosecuted. Most of the ranks, FBI hasn't went to jail. No FBI agents, no CIA agents. They're all together on this. It doesn't matter who you contact. If they don't act day one, they're smart, intelligent people who with degrees. They know what this shit is. There's so much information out there. There's patents that cover it from the 70s. There's uh, old, uh, There's something called the Frey Effect from the fucking 50s where they discovered that radar, military radar, made vo uh, little clicks and noises in people's heads. They've known about this, and then they weaponized it. And this is NSA. NSA also has a global system. Have you heard of Echelon? There's a video on my site about this. There's these fucking radar systems all around the globe, and every country has some of them over in Europe, here in America. And um, here in America, they've used it on Texas, Austin, Texas. Jammed up all the garage door openers in 2010. And uh, whole towns have uh, heard 
uh, tinnitus before. That's, that the tinnitus is created by radar signals. And it causes that in your head. Um, so I just want to let you know that they're killing me and it's murder. You can arrest any, you know, I think we have to do a civil war here. We, did, we have to go to raid the FBI offices, kill each one of them. The, the, the more we do this, just go into each office, FBI, Homeland Security, U.S. Air Force, Army, President Obama's office, and senators, congressmen, the goddamn governor's office. We just kill these fuckers. Get rid of them because they're shit. They're running our country in the ground. They're all involved in this. They have a military industrial complex so fucking strong, and we're all the guinea pigs. Right? Every fucking citizen is being controlled and manipulated in some way by these fucking punks. And uh, I'm never going to get justice. And you look, our judges are protecting them all. That's why I know you need to get rid of the judges. There's corruption at every level. We need re-elections. We need a civil war. We need to get rid of these fucking punk fuckers. That's, that's, you're never going to know how serious it is until you do this. Then you'll get in and you'll find all the, all these the terrestrial fucking nodes that they've installed to watch us and their satellites and their damn phased array antennas that are everywhere. There's at least dozens of those. Harp and Hippus, Puerto Rican radar field. They've downed hundred. I don't know how many planes. Dozens of planes in Port, uh, the Bermuda Triangle. Those were all the United States testing their weapons out on those planes. It's not conspiracy theory. And then you go down to Brazil, there's some down there. There's, there's fucking huge radar fields that we use to do this with. And it bounces radiation through the atmosphere, down people. And it planes and objects knocking. It could put through air, theoretically knock a, a missile out of the sky, but it's not used for that. Who's shooting missiles off? So they're, what they're doing, they're fucking with the weather and they're fucking with people. And they're spying on everybody with it because it lets them see through walls and ground. You can go into an underground tunnel and they'll see you because their technology works everywhere. To image, it's, it's ground penetrating tomography. That's what it is. Same stuff that's in an MRI machine or an electron spin uh, resonance machine, except it's fucking global scale. And it, it's more accurate than anything. It's these giant fields of advanced uh, imaging radar, okay? And up in, up in the fucking space, they've got 32 of these bitches. 32 goddamn satellites, minimum. Those are just the ones that we know about through the, the launch database. And these fucking things are watching us. And we're giving off all sorts of RF. These are signals that let them see us from space, and they track us just like we're cell phones. Our brands are cell phones to them. Fully decoded our fucking brains. So now they know what we know, and they know who we are and what we're doing all the time. And the crime that happens in our community amongst the, the police and the fucking military, that's crime that they are sponsoring. And so nobody commits a crime to them that they don't know about. When, you pass, when you're being spied on, they know that you've done something. Um, they know that they, you know, in court they might not be able to prove it because there's all the due process rules and Fourth Amendment shit, but they know. Government tracks that. They're spying on everyone 24-7 with space capability and th this advanced technology. The crime that they do let go on amongst their ranks, like I said, rapes and murders, directed energy assaults, electronic assaults, harassment, and uh, assassinations, torture scenarios, and ki you know kidnappings of children, selling them on the black market. They have agents that they, the government knows because they've been inside the police's brains. They're watching them 24-7. The police have access to this shit. They know who's a violent piece of shit and who's not. The government doesn't get rid of them. How come? That's because they're running this corrupt piece of shit. They're instructing the police to be as violent and corrupt as they are. They never... They don't go for... They don't care about justice or civil rights. They don't care about peace. They create wars in other countries that aren't supposed to happen. They create divisions between other countries that aren't supposed to be there so that they never align and over, you know. A con countries that align for peace are a threat to the United States because then we can't manipulate them. And uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of bullshit out there that our country does to hurt other countries and other people. Because all the rich people are in this country and they want to be able to control everybody else. That's the way it works.
but I want you to know that think about the logic.